What's happening, everybody? It is Thursday night, and it's time for Thrifty Business with Jay and Nay. I'm your one host, Vegas Jay. And I'm Kelly Nay. Hi, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? All right, just a little heads up tonight. I have a live audience. <laughs> Yay! And Nadine has her first in-studio guest. So until yeah. it's time for the guest, she <laughs> has a live audience. Yay! So that is what's happening tonight. So when you see a bunch of people in the background, that's what that's. <laughs> All right. So as we start every show, it is time for Jay's Tiki Talk. And tonight <clears throat> we are just going to drink some rum, but a couple things, uh, a couple special things. Our good friend and admin in Thrifting with the Boys, Teresa Cox, was just in town for the ASD convention. She brought me a bottle of rum, and I said, what's this for? And she said, well, you're always the hostess with the mostest, and uh, I just want to thank you because you take care of everybody when they're here. Aww. Teresa doesn't drink, and so Aww. she said, I did research, and I came up with this is one of the top five rums. And I said, good thing. That's one of my one of my all-time favorite rums. Oh, very nice, Teresa. That was a Ron Zacapa 23-year. <laughs> there you yeah. go. So we are drinking Ron Zacapa tonight. So Cuba Libre, uh, I am drinking Ron Zacapa with Diet Coke and Lime. And hang on, let me have a sip. My drinking vessel is from the Tonga Hut. It is a tiki bar in North Hollywood. And my good friend Marie runs it. And she is an awesome bartender slash mixologist slash sweetheart. And our good friend Pam here is drinking out of the house glassware, the Denison. So, uh, there we go. So that's our glassware tonight. That's our rum tonight. And uh, what are you drinking the, this evening, my dear? Oh, you know what? Tonight I'm really boring. I have water tonight. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Go water! <laughs> All righty. So let me get over to the next thing. We talk about tiki stuff, and then we talk about important stuff. Yes. Una momento. Let's try that again. We gotta rock this out. It's Nay's Brent's Cancer update and fact of the week, 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 week. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, I have had a tough week this week. Um, if my voice got, kind of goes in and out, it's because I had six thyroid biopsies on Monday, which was very unpleasant and. Um, I actually lost my voice for a while yesterday, but it's uh, it's been kind of going in and out. So if I sound a little weird, that's why. Um, I, ha I don't have those results yet. Um, otherwise, I've, I've actually had a rough week. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I was faced with some, uh, you know, you get numbers and statistics when you when you have cancer, and um, it's kind of hard to face those sometimes. Um, and so I have some decisions to make about my upcoming treatment. I do have... Um, Couple weeks to make my decisions um, based on some, you know, some hard facts and numbers put in front of me. Um, but um, you know, I'll be updating you guys about that. But that's 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 been the toughest of the week. And then yesterday, I had my physical therapy, and I'm starting the reconstruction process. I won't go into details about that, but it's painful, um, and I'm going to have a lot of future surgeries. Um, so um, it's been a tough week, and then I, I went thrifting for the first time in since before my surgery, and um, I was out with Ron and his daughter, and I had an awesome time, and it was completely worth it, but oh my goodness, does my arm kill me now, <laughs> because um, with the physical therapy and everything, um, and, and thrifting, and um, I'm, in, I'm in some pain, and also where, where I had my surgery, my surgical area, I'm... Uh, I'm hurting a little bit tonight, so um, but I'm doing okay. It was worth it. It was worth thrifting. So. All right. Well, let me do the heavy lifting tonight. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mason. So, <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. My breast fa cancer fact um, of the week is um, it's kind of um, it should be something that every woman knows, but I can guarantee not every woman does. Um, according to the World Health Organization, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide. So that's pretty scary. Um, we really need to change that. So, okay, that's it for All tonight. Right. 
Thank you for your update. Okay. Well, a buyer just paid for something I bought with you. All right, cool. All right. Next, we get to our score of the week. And we have scores this week, as we usually do. We should probably change that to score, since we always have scores. True. Yeah. Okay, another thing on my on my to-do list. <laughs> all right. We were, you and I were talking earlier about all your, your stuff, and uh, we were talking about boobies. And while we were talking, this sold. So here's my one score of the week. I love boobies, but it's not the boobies you are thinking of. It is the oh, bird okay. boobie. And it's really a score <laughs> because... As you can see, there is not much to this shirt. It's the front with the blue feet and nothing on the back. And I sold for twenty six twenty four. I think I paid like, oh, thank you. I think I paid $2 for it. So I love boobies sold today. You bought that at, um, when you were with me? I think I bought that with you. I don't remember. It looks like something that you would find at Philly Age Thrift. I'll tell you that. Yeah. yeah. So that's my one score. And we, we often talk about uh, Levi's silver tabs, and these are not baggy. So silver tabs had a whole bunch of different things. These are silver tabs oversized, but I, but I still sold those for forty four ninety nine, and I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, yeah, that's the score. That's what I'm talking about. Some excitement in the back of the room. Woo! Of course, look for silver tab baggies, but even oversized will do well. And this was a, a decent size, thirty eight thirty. And uh, they didn't last too long, maybe up a couple of weeks. All right, we're hopping right into Nadine's. We're not even leaving the screen. Okay. The reason I'm showing this as a score is because Jason does not thrift um, kids' clothes. So I'm trying to teach a little bit about kids' clothes here. Now, um, normally, I, I could have gotten it. Actually, this sold really quickly, and I probably could have gotten more, like $22 for it. So I did go a little too low. Um, but... I still consider it a score because most, if you look like through the kids' clothes, most kids, like the normal kids' clothes brands, um, <laughs> we stop and let me, <laughs> please, thank you. Um, they will sell for um, usually like, you know, you'll see like $4.99, $2.99, like three, you have to have like a whole lot of clothes, like a lot, like a, literally a lot of, um, to get, you know, like, you know, anywhere near twenty dollars. So this one dress, I did underlist it. I will admit that um, because it sold so quickly. But um, Jimbery, and the reason that I listed it a little lower because Jimbery usually has like um, you can find out the line and um, the date on them. But usually, like there's they're a little more like there's more doodads, there's more like pizzazz to them. And this was just kind of a plainer cotton dress. It did have a cool like candy motif on it. But um, my point is, if you find Jimbery, um, especially girls' dresses, um, but boys' clothes, too, with, like, the doodads on them, um, that's one brand to pick up, so, in children's clothing. Okay, very nice. cool. Woo! 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 All right, we got okay. this uh, J. Crew. Yeah, now, I, I haven't really, honestly, my store, um, because I'm not listing, which I need to get listing now because I just thrifted again, um, so because I haven't li been listing as much, I haven't been selling as much, so my scores aren't like woohoo scores. They're just kind of average scores for this week. But um, at least, you know, I've been selling some things. J. Crew is like a staple item for me. Um, anything I get J, J. Crew always sells quickly. Um, it's like just like a bread and butter item, I call it. Um, so easily. I, I paid a dollar on the clearance rack actually at Philly AIDS Thrift for this one. Um, and it was like in the dollar clearance section, and so for twenty four ninety nine, I think that, and it went in, it, it shipped at like three ounces because it was a tiny size, it was like a short little skirt. So um, I think that was that was pretty good return for for that. Um, but yeah, yeah. J Crew was false for me. <laughs> I have a couple other visuals here from from thrifting today um, with Ron. Actually, I showed this to, to Jason in the store. It is. Um, a beautiful long Hawaiian dress, and here's the label on it. It's vintage. Um, you see it? That, and that says Hookie Lao Fashions, and Hookie Lao Fashions always does quite well. And those are very weird colors for a Hawaiian dress, but very yeah. fall. That's a good fall colors. It didn't strike me as a Hawaiian dress. I knew it was vintage when I first picked it up, and that's why I picked it up. 
but it did not strike me as Hawaii. And then I saw the tag, and I was like, ooh, I found something. And it's in perfect condition, so I'm going to get that listed. And this is just uh, following up from um, Robin's diapers, uh, vintage diapers last week. Um, I found not only one, but two boxes of, I have play, 80s Playtex disposable wow. bin, nice. and I have 80s play, um, Playtex disposable changing pads. Now, just the pads are listed right now for $39.99. Someone has them listed. Um, there's none of these that I could find. I think, I think there might have been one for, like, 15 So I'm going to do these two as a lot. For like forty nine ninety nine, and see and see what I get. The boxes are opened, but they are complete. So we'll see how um how I do. They're not quite uh, vintage diapers, but they're along that line. So hey babies, <laughs> hey babies. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a score. And I paid a dollar each for those. So cool. Hey, real quick before we go on to our duds. Uh, uh, Darla wants to know how you know which Jimboree items to buy. My thrift sell them for as little as 99 cents, and okay. I buy them often for my DD. What's DD? Designated driver. Designated driver? <laughs> Probably to your daughter. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, basically, um, Jimboree does have some plainer clothing. Like, you know, just like if you find just a pair of plain pink pants, I wouldn't really pick those up. Um, like, my dress was a little more interesting because it had the, the candy motif on it. But I've seen some really out-there Jimbery clothes with, you know, like the frilly stuff and the, the doodads on them and some really cool prints. So that's what you're looking for. And check thoroughly for stains and holes, especially stains with children's clothes. Um, because if it's stained, you're not going to want to sell it. You're not going to get the return for it if you can't get the stain out. So, um... But Jimboree is definitely one of the good the, the good uh, lines, along with some of the boutique lines, which uh, I can talk about at another show. So. Cool. All right. We've done our scores. <laughs> and now it's time for the duds of the week. Okay. Now, when you see my first dud, you're going to be like, that's a dud? But there is an explanation. So this is a gorgeous to vintage Tory Richard dress. That's a dud. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's a dud. I'll tell you why it's a dud. I bought this on Thrift Hunters. I was going to say, I remember that from the show. Uh, made in British Hong Kong, so definitely very vintage. Mm -hmm. It's like two dresses put together. It's a vintage six, so it's really tiny. Yeah. But I bought it on Thrift Hunters, and... I bought emotionally. And what don't we do, everyone? We do not shop emotionally. <laughs> I <laughs> like this so much, I paid $55 for it. What? <laughs> and I sold it for 50 So, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Gosh, that's a dud. So, yes, it was cool. Now, this would not have been a dud had I paid $5. But, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> that was not a dud for the person who bought it, though. No, I hope this person rocks this dress, because it is gorgeous. It is a but, beautiful dress. Uh, somebody asked, dud means not sellable. And not always. The dud in this instance is I overpaid. So that's yeah. still a dud. Like, I shopped emotionally because it was so beautiful and so awesome that I ignored the fact it was way too expensive. Oh, somebody just said, first time join in. Don't know why I didn't start watching sooner. Welcome, Justin Grant. Thanks for joining Welcome, us today. Justin, thank you. Oh, I guess I only had one dud. All right, cool. We're on to your duds then. Okay, so not all yarn sells well. Um, this is usually like the outrageous yarns, like the, the, um, like the no they're called novelty yarns. This is called eyelash yarn. Usually they do sell better. Um, because they're kind of, um, you know, more eccentric and whatnot. And also, as I explained before, like the cashmere's and the, um, the natural blends, the cottons versus the acrylic. But these um, $10.99 with free shipping, um, I mean, I think they cost, um, they cost like $3 to ship. So it wasn't like, you know, I made, I made a little bit. I think I probably paid $2 for each skein. So really it was not worth the whole, you know, thing. I got nice positive feedback, but... Um, it, they weren't worth as much as I thought they were going to be per skein, so. And, oops, oh, and this one is a dud because of shipping. I messed up on this one when I priced it. 
I priced it with free shipping, $24.95. I should have priced it higher. It's a two thousand piece puzzle. And um, I should have I should have taken the um, into account that someone on the West Coast just might buy it. <laughs> and, and that I didn't and that I didn't weigh it beforehand and it was four pounds without the box. So um, I uh, had to I got it in at the fat four pound rate. There was no way to get it into a mid I tried the um, the medium flat rate. I tried everything I could do. It was um, fifteen dollars to ship it. Boo. And, um, yeah, and uh, so <laughs> and I don't even remember what I paid for, probably a couple dollars. So I made like nothing on that. All right, well, yeah, that would be a dud. Yeah, that was a dud. That would be a dud. All right, now it is time for... <laughs> Our Close Encounters of the Thrifty Guy. guy, guy, guy. All right, mine is uh, from... So if you know me and you've watched the show or you've been in my groups, you know I talk about Crazy Town. Crazy Town is a Savers here in Vegas that has just crazy shit happening all the time. There's a store further down the road that's crazier into crazy town. So one day I was there, and oddly we were we were there today, but I'll, we'll talk about that later. One day I was there, and there was a whole plastic tub of flat irons, you know, to flatten your hair out. Right, right. And a woman had a walker, the kind that you could actually then spin around and sit on, with a little seat. And so she was sitting there, and she was plugging them in. Now, anything I buy electronic, I would plug it in, too. Right. I, watch her, I watch her plug one in and start to flatten her hair. I just assumed she was just making sure it worked. She flattened a good section of her hair, unplugged that one, plugged the next one in, did more of her hair. I watched her do her whole head. Of them. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely a unique one. Yeah. That's funny. Guys, there's my... There's my thrifty encounter. You go, girl. <clears throat> okay, so um, mine has to do with Philly AIDS thrift. Um, I have visuals to go along with it. So, so Ron and I were um, were at Philly AIDS thrift, and upstairs, as you know, Jason, there's like this big section with with the linens and all, and they have furniture up there. So there's this big grand piano, like it was a huge grand, an actual full size grand piano, and this guy was playing on the piano. Um, I assume you're going to get my visuals up there, right? Um, Sorry, I had those for the wrong segment, so here they are. Hang on. Okay, so this guy was playing on the piano first, and he was rocking it. Like, he was doing great. And I went up to him, and I couldn't just snap a picture, right? So I went up to him, and I said, can I take your picture? And I explained, like, we do this show, and you're welcome to watch. And he was just like, no, no, no picture. And he got up, and he literally just ran out of there. So I said, okay, sorry. So this nice girl that's in the picture gets on, comes in. She's like, hey, uh, and I forget her name now. I'm so sorry because she said that she was going to like our show. So if she's watching tonight, hi. Um, anyway, she got on the piano, and she could really rock it. She she had some talent. So she, she let me take her picture. She shook my hand. She asked about our show. She was awesome. So um, And she, she actually was very talented. So... Um, so that's my uh, thrifty encounter story. In the middle of the two pictures of her. Hang on. Yeah, there are two pictures of her playing. She was way she was she was, the, yeah, she was she, crossing, huh? She was crossing. She was. Ta she had some talent. Yes, yeah, I think she had more talent than the guy who ran away in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out better. Yeah. So she was. She was really nice uh, to volunteer for my thrifty encounter picture. But I felt kind of weird. Just like it was like obvious that I would be photographing them playing. So I had to ask. <laughs> well, better than us, we had just crazies all day today, so I'll take entertainment over crazies all day. Yeah, so she said that we could use her picture for the show. Alrighty, now... It's time for our thrifty tip of the week. Okay. I will let you go first. Okay, so my thrifty tip of the week was reminded to me by my good friend Ron, who's on our, who's behind me, who's going to be our guest in a little bit. Um, now, um, here's the thing: don't pass up the big stuff. I'm talking like the huge stuff. Right now, it's kind of hard for me to lift and stuff and carry because I'm kind of incapacitated with my right arm. But in normal life, do not pass up the big stuff because you're intimidated of it, or because you're afraid to ship it. Or because you assume that it's going to carry a hefty price tag because it's large. 
Um, and Ron later will illustrate exactly what I'm talking about with one of his um, items that I just walked right by and assumed all of that and would have never thought of buying. And he walked by that and he was like, whoa, score, look at this. And he, he, he's bringing it back to Massachusetts. It's huge. So, so guess what my thrifty tip of the day is? Don't pass up big stuff. Now, we did not rehearse yeah. this. That what? is my tip of the day also. What in the hell? Why did we not consult here, about that? I have an example, too. Oh, hey, come look on. Look at the size of this plush of this plush lion right here. I have two lovely assistants holding my plush lion. I bought him for 20 bucks. I shall call him Cecil. And the last one sold for 115 on eBay, and I'm gonna put him up higher. <laughs> so we, so if you had read my notes before the show, I you would don't have read that. notes. Tip <laughs> as you. I don't read notes. Obviously, apparent, but you know, it is so great that we have the same yeah. tip. So if you are listening in uh, YouTube land, obviously that is the tip. <laughs> Don't ignore big stuff. Even though that, really is a good tip. even though that lion oh is God. huge for twenty bucks, he's going to be a good seller. And lions are obviously in the news the last couple of weeks, so that is going to be our yeah. big time seller. Yeah. And I got to say, I'm sorry I didn't read your notes, but we are. Yeah, so if you had read, you would have seen that that was my thrifty tip, and I put that in there like way at the beginning of the week. So we are so on the same page. That's crazy. All right, it is. <laughs> Time for you have got to be shipping me. And mine this week is more of a head scratcher. Like, I just don't, I, I don't understand. And I'm looking for the chat to make me understand, okay? Chat, you have a job. I don't get what happened here. I'm going to show you something. I ordered two shirts from the same company on the same day, same order. The company is based out of Staten Island. And here's my two shirts. This is a Kraken. Destroying a pirate ship. There we go. Right. We saw that last week. Yep. And then I got the second one. A Frankenstein pug. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Here's where my head hurts. The first one came from uh, the Ukraine. Okay. And then the second one came from Staten Island, where the store is, or where the business actually is. Now, how, in the same order, did one come from the Ukraine and how did the Ukraine one get here first? That's a mystery. That's a There's shipping. my shipping what? <laughs> That's I mean, I had we had a sign for this, too. That's crazy. There, Ukraine, right there. Boom. Wow. So. It looks like they might have outsourced it to the Ukraine. That one actually got there first. It's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, so you so this so this kind of goes into ship internationally. The Ukraine shipment got here sooner than the Staten Island shipment. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh? Substantially. Oh yeah, it was a week difference. Not just like a day or two; it was a whole week. Yeah, that's crazy. Katie said, "Do they drop ship?" I I don't know. Maybe the seller was sold out. Yeah, maybe. But the only that's place they could find it was the Ukraine. That's what's blowing. <laughs> that's what's hurting my head. It's that's special. crazy. All right, so there's mine, and you are away. Okay, so my my shipping tip is very closely related to my thrifty tip. Um, also, don't buy something because you're afraid of shipping it, um, you, and utilize your friend's help because this item, which we're going to be talking, which Ron's going to be talking about, I won't give the item away. Um, I would have been stumped. There's no way I would have passed that thing up and said, "There's no way I can ship that thing." Like it's there's no way. So. Either use the help of shipping with the boys group or one of your friends, like my friend Ron here, who knew that this item could be completely disassembled. He knew exactly which Home Depot size box it fit in, and he knew that it would ship uh, via, I forget if it was FedEx or UPS, and he knew like exactly how much and cheaper, and he knew like the whole drill to ship this thing. Um, so use your friend's help or use the group's help. And don't be intimidated by by something. Uh, don't don't pass it up and be intimidated to ship anything, because there's help out there. Nice tip. Nice. Thank it you. is time for the viewers two minute topic of the week. Mm -hmm. And this week we have our questions submitted by Diana Kruger, and she asks, how many items do you list in a week? 
do you have a specific day of the week you list, or do you just add items as you get them? All right, so let me get you up here. Let's get our timer into place. Uh, I kind of rejiggered here. Hang on a sec. Burp, burp, burp. Uh, there we go. And you are off. Okay. Um, Pre-cancer, I um, listed just about every night. Um, I would I work during the day, and I would I would list um, at least a couple of items during at night, and um, pretty much every day. Weekends are a little harder because of the kids, but um, you know, like after the kids would go to bed at night, I would I would be listing. Now it's a little harder because I get tired, and um, so I haven't been listing as much. And I, my goal right now is to just list one item a day. That's that's gonna that's my new goal. Just one item a day. If I can get through that, then um, I think I can um, you know start getting some sales back. So that's um, that's my current goal. Um, have, I haven't been doing so well at it. I did I did for a couple weeks there. Um, I did a couple items like a couple items stretch, but then like when I'm at the mouse for a long time, it hurts my right arm. So I so I think I need to utilize mobile a little more and kind of mix that in with my listings. Um, but that's my goal right now because of my situation. Very good. All right. I'm going to answer, answer a quick question. Uh, I'll be shipping the giant line in a giant box, and that's one of those rare items where uh, a bonus shipping tip, I will actually pack him ahead of time. I will not take it to chance. Uh, you know, a shirt is easy to pack. That okay. giant diesel, not so much. No, All right. Let me reset. And here we go. I list no items in a week. <laughs> and by that, I mean my assistant lists uh, yeah, yeah, my assistant items in a week. You, so so um, we get, uh, <laughs> on a normal week, we get usually anywhere from like 30 to 50 items done. So he does all the pictures. He does all the listings. And then before they go live, I double check them, make sure he's got the right keywords, the right prices. And he's pretty good. Like if he sent them all live on his own, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I do catch pricing errors, I do catch some word errors, and some things he just doesn't know, like he's young, 24, so sometimes items are just out of his age range, so he's looking at stuff going, I don't know what this is from the 80s, I was a little baby, so, uh, uh, but it is good to list every day, even like Nay said, one item a day, get get yeah. something up every day, it makes you fresh in the, in the search, and it'll get more eyes on your items, and it'll be good, it'll be beneficial for you. If you could do more than one a day, obviously that'd be great too. All righty. That's why my sales are down right now because I haven't been listing, and I know it. <laughs> and I know it. No, so. All righty. Jer Jeremy rocks. Yes, my assistant does rock, so Jeremy, if you're watching this, you do rock. <laughs> all right, one more thing before we get to our guest. Um, as you all know, we do haul videos, and... Here's our graphic. J and A's thrift halls. We do my hall. We do Nadine's hall. We do our friends hall. <coughs> <coughs> and this will be a good time to talk about next week's guest before we bring on this week's guest. Here is next week's guest. Hi. Oh. Hi, Pam. Hi, Nadine. Pam, Hi. Pam is a good friend of both Nadine and myself. And yeah. uh, Pam and I thrifted this week. And... Pam um, out thrifted me at, in one particular second, and I'm gonna give. You gotta watch quick. This is only gonna be a teaser. You got twin next week. Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> that box, that box just played for her paint, plane ticket here, and I looked at it and walked past it. All right, so Pam schooled me. So here's the deal. Next week's gonna be a little bit different. The other live audience member is my lovely wife Stacy, who turns 50 next week. Yay! Stacy. Hey, so we are going home to Cleveland for her 50th birthday party. I cannot do a show on Thursday. So next week, and ne next week only, until further notice, we are doing a Tuesday night show. So same time, tune in Tuesday night. So we'll have our normal segments. But mm -hmm. instead of Pam just being like a guest talking about a specific topic, we're going to do Pam's Thrift Hall from Vegas. Her, oh. her best things. There's some fun stories. She schooled me on this box. So tune in on Tuesday night. It'll be a ton of fun. It'll be a I like it. Awesome. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, well, for, uh, stuff that I would have bought had you not been uh, <laughs> oh. lounging around me. All right, so let me. 
Let me get our guest ready. All right. Okay. Oh, who's there? Oh, it's Ron. <laughs> and while Ron and Nadine get a little switched around here, uh, I'll talk a little bit about Ron. Ron's the man, and I cannot... Uh, Ron's a man for many reasons, many reasons, both in terms of uh, online selling and just an awesome human being. But I cannot wait to share Ron's workspace with you. It, oh, it, yeah, Ron has quite an, a workspace. It is insane. So without further ado, let me bring on our guest. There he is. Hi, everybody. What's happening, Ron? How you doing? Hi, Having a good time hi, in Philly? Ron. Having a great time. Getting uh, kind of tired. I drifted out. <laughs> <like this city. laughs> <laughs> We've been having fun, though. We have been. Yes. Uh, real quick, everybody saying happy birthday, Stacy. Happy birthday. Same time, everybody. Time doesn't change, just this day changes. So Tuesday, if you're on the East Coast, 9 p.m. If you're on the West Coast, 6 p.m. If you're in the middle, I never know. Just figure it out. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, Nay. Talk. Tell us about our guests. Well, um... I'll have Ron uh, introduce himself. This is actually, this is his daughter, Ashley, in the background, who's with him. Say hi, hi. Ashley. Hi, hi Ashley. Uh, she's very sweet, and um, I uh, I would like to keep her, actually. I, I asked if I could treat one of my boys for her, but uh, it, was a, it was a no deal. So. It's a one-way deal. No trade. <laughs> no <laughs> trade. Yeah, I just get an extra kid. So. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so Ron is a dear friend of mine, and um, he's awesome. Um, he's got a huge heart. Um, he's a great thrifter. I mean, going thrifting with him this week, he's taught me lessons, like, amazing stuff. He's, he's, he's unbelievable. So he's got an eye for, like, the artsy and the, and the unique and the crazy and um, the unpredictable stuff that I would not usually necessarily think of bringing home. So um, you'll see some examples of that. Now, I would like Ron to introduce himself, tell us a little bit about um, his family, his work um, life, um, where, what platforms he sells on, like where, where how you got started selling, um, you know, and and sure. and that kind of thing. So, okay. um, well, I have a husband. I have three uh, kids, 13, 14, and 15. And uh, when we we adopted all our kids, and when when we got the kids, I stopped working a regular job. So the only way for me to uh, is, eventually get back to work after they were a little bit older um, was to start on my Amazon and my eBay businesses and first I focused on Amazon selling books because I was a librarian by training it was an easy easy end for me and I love the subject uh, matter um, and then eventually I started doing a little bit more eBay and then um, a few years ago I decided to test the waters uh, for FBA and Amazon, and that's when I uh, started selling everything. And um, go to yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think that. So, um, should we get into some of Ron's score? Do you have any questions for Ron, Jason? No, I just want to say, you know, I, um, uh, my wife and I adopt dogs, and there's one of them looking at her right now. But uh, Ron, you're the man. Yeah, he is. He's they, him and his husband have a heart of gold. Like they, and yeah. they are great parents. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Because I, you know, we love our dogs, but man, are they a lot of work. Especially now that two are elderly. Holy crap. So I can't even fathom uh, having three teenagers in the house. Oh three teenagers, God. yeah, all in a row, 13, 14, 15. That's just crazy. So good on you, brother. Yeah, yeah. You're a good man. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's jump right in like we normally do. Let's get up some of Ron's scores. Oh, uh, you want to go scores and duds, or do you want to go to his awesome workspace first? Uh... You want to leave that up to the audience, or you want to? What do you want to do first? Uh, workspace. Let's do workspace. All right. Okay. All right. This is amazing because yeah. I am just beyond jealous. I I am in my spare bedroom. <laughs> That's my workspace. And this is my workspace. Our little cramp, my little cramp basement that we're all like sardined into. So. All right. Here's Ron's. Look at this gorgeousness. Uh huh. In his backyard. Can you believe that? That is amazing. Oh, by the way, uh, the whole chat saying hi to Ashley and Ron. So uh, hi, everybody. And Ashley's got one, we've got a kitty in the background too. Look at that. Uh, so, um, Ron, was this was this on the property when you bought the house? Um, 
actually that barn was not on the property. Um, we had a, our house is over 250 years old, and uh, I don't know if the barn was original or not, but the one that was there was falling down, and we were going to renovate it, but it it was dangerous. So we tore it down, and um, my neighbor across the street actually built this barn for me from scratch, and he put the original beam in it, but that's all that's left of the uh, original barn. Um, and initially we built the barn just for my books. So that's why all the shelves are walled. Um, they, there were 3,000, no, 5,000, 5,000 books in there at one point. Um, wow. Yeah, and um, it's since shifted, and uh, it's, it's gone through different stages of clutter. <laughs> but it's an awesome workspace. I mean, we all, I think we're all familiar with clutter and, you know, our shipping space. I mean, it looks like you have a somewhat organized shipping space there, I see, and a uh, workspace. Uh, Ron, Ron was apprehensive about showing these. He goes, it's a mess. Ron, have you never met another online seller? <laughs> We're all a mess. But you are a mess in a beautiful barn. Hey, somebody wants to know, is your barn climate controlled? I would guess so. No. No? No. Do you freeze in the wintertime? Absolutely. <laughs> you must have to bring in oh, heaters then. Well, actually, I, um, I shift to my other workspace inside, which is the office, the kitchen, the uh, side porch, and the garage. So... Um, <laughs> this is just a small fraction of, of the space I use. But, um, yeah, I, I primarily use this in the summer, uh, spring, summer, and fall. Look at and these I'm, shelves. These are awesome. I know. It's awesome. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? I'm in the process of organizing. That was my summer goal, um, and to get rid of just junk. So I've been awesome. working hard at that. Oh, there's a nice shot. Everything all nice, and people are all saying they want a red barn in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it is a beautiful barn. I think I'm most jealous about the height, the height of the yeah. wall. Yeah, with all that shelf yeah. space, I agree. Yeah, and I do have a full attic. Oh, yeah. You in there too? Yeah. yeah. No yeah. way. The only way you get there is to put a ladder in the middle of the room and go through. But so, what do you yeah, put in the attic? There are books in the attic. Okay. Yes. Are there bats in your belfry? <laughs> no bats. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. All right. All right. Let me pop you guys back up for a second. Let me get back to Ron's scores and duds, and we will uh, we will go through those because the first score oh, I, know what, I didn't know what I'm looking at. Yeah. All right. So here's Ron's first score. Oops. Wait a minute. I remember this. I helped Ron with the score. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. I I don't even know what it is. So help me out here, Ron. Tell me what, tell me what we're looking at here. Well, it's a very nice piece of fabric. Um, it only has, it, it, it's, the pattern is gigantic. You know, each side is uh, two yards for the full, the full print. Um, and uh, it was beautiful. I, and that's typically what I look for, just things that catch my eye. And I thought, if I really like this, then somebody else will really like this. And, um, and uh, I, of course, shot... Nadine a message and asked what she thought and and uh, she was able to tell me a little bit about the company which yeah. is the Hollandays and and they yes um, wax block you should right you should wax right block. is wax yeah. block and um, I didn't have it up long before it sold I sold it for seventy five uh, I had it up for ninety nine I think yeah um, and um, yeah, that was an awesome. That was just an awesome score. I knew right when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, price that really high because that's gonna. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I bought it for two ninety nine. Yeah, I, that was that was fantastic. Yeah, the savers, savers find. Two ninety nine. Yeah. And what, wow. and what did it sell for? Seventy five is what yeah. I took. And you also had four yards of it, which was a bonus too. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. You had, yeah. Well, the pattern was so big. You know, it, yeah, it, it's probably it really yeah. needed it. One, yes. I think the four yards would make one dress. Yeah. And someone on the chat, um, well, not the chat, but in the uh, 13 with the boys had um, had a dress, I think, that was made out of a similar oh, fabric. Yeah. That's where it's I told them, I was like, don't beautiful. price it low, price it's it high. It's beautiful fabric. It's me, and it's yeah. and it's made from um, you know unique. It's 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 an actual print of a wax block uh, carved piece of artwork. That's you know, it's mm. almost like a. Um, you know, like a, a, a print would be done. It's, it's gorgeous, yeah, so. Uh, woo. Hey, uh, Ron, I hate to tell you the tides have turned. Now the chat hates you for your awesome barn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, were alive, they were loving you, then they saw your awesome workspace. They're like, 
We don't like Ron anymore. He's got some loose Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's go to these plates now. Uh, these plates. Um, I was in Boston for uh, Special Olympics for my kids. They're participating. Just so happens, right behind Boston University, there is a Goodwill. And I didn't see it last year, but this year I did. So um, during lunch break, I, I, of course. <laughs> I went over in to the middle the of the Will. Special Olympics you know, for your kids. I, exactly. <laughs> Always have in my mind, if I'm going to go somewhere, then I need to spend a little bit of time thrifting to pay for the trip. So this is uh, what I found. It was just on a shelf. They were a dollar a piece, and I found five. And I knew they were something when I saw them. Um, and, um, and and then when I, I I looked at the back and I knew I had had to get them. Um, uh, I I fully expect them to sell for around a hundred a piece. Um, haven't sold any yet, but I'm certainly willing to wait. Yeah, that's that's awesome. We can tell yeah. they're yeah. See, Majolica. Like I said, yeah. you have an eye for the unique and uh, the eccentric, like the cool artsy stuff. That I love it. All right, so this came up in your in the notes for me as a dud, and I don't think it's a dud. So let me hear why you think it's a dud. Well, I, yeah, when I first bought this, I had it on the in the group, and and I got a ton of hits on it, but nobody <laughs> made an offer, nobody bought it. Um, it's so heavy, and it's so ugly. <laughs> Exactly. It's one of those things I'm tired of looking at in a very short while. So um, for me, that's why it's a dud. I wanna, I wanna get rid of it. Somebody buy it, please. I mean, awesome. I get what you're saying, but I just think you know it is a specialized product. It's gonna need a special customer, and I think that that person's out there. So I don't think it will be a dud. You know, uh, for instance, <clears throat> two people in the last two weeks. In the group, have each found 20-foot banners. One was in sync in Brittany, and one was a basketball player. Cool, cool find, but man, you need a specialized customer that can put up a 20-foot banner somewhere. So same with this kind of thing. That person's coming. Don't worry, it, it's coming. Yeah, when we were trying to figure out what is it, what is it? You know, I think we decided it's actually a photo prop because we've someone in the group found many versions. This is really big. Um, but, you know, as you can see, one of my pictures, I pimped myself out with one. I was trying to think of creative uses. Um, ah, <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's oh, my gosh. Something to put on a grave. You know, it's all, all kinds is, of things it could be used for. That is crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, Ron, too bad we are so far apart. I would love to photograph my big giant lion laying on this. That would be oh, awesome. <laughs> Here's what you need to do, Ron. You need to get in a I banana hammock. I can Photoshop hammock. it. I can make that happen through Photoshop magic. That's true. You need to get in a banana hammock and sunglasses and lay on this. That's how it's going to sell, brother. <laughs> Trust me on that. <laughs> oh, and everybody's saying, especially uh, uh, the chat, they're saying uh, Etsy would be great for that. Yeah. Are, are you on Etsy? Don't sell on Etsy. I, I'm just Amazon and eBay right now, but um, time to get onto Etsy. Good. Yeah. All right, and here is your other dud. Oh. <laughs> we were at a sale, 200 vendor sale in New Hampshire last weekend, and uh, I was just going through as fast as I could because I was with the family, and I saw this and I said, "Wow, a dollar!" So I looked at the lady. I said, "For a dollar, I'll take it." She said. For a dollar, you can have it. So I walked off, and then I realized it's a print. No, it's not even a print. It's cheap paper, <laughs> copy <laughs> with under glass. So <laughs> it wasn't needlepoint at all. So um, I disposed of it immediately in a trash can. That was I'm glad you got a picture of that one, though. Yeah, because I was, yeah. So somebody wants to see me wrapped up in your bedspread in front of my candle closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yes, we, I, we've, I've seen the candle closet. That would be funny. <laughs> All right, so um, are we on to these dishes or this shot first? Um, oh, uh, we were thrifting at the Philly H. Thrift, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, yeah. and um, uh, the name went and looked at all her stuff with, <laughs> with Ashley, and Ashley was her. When she came back, I had nothing in my hand. She said, you found nothing? I said, yeah. no, nothing. And then we got it to the cash register. I had three yeah, baskets these, full. But, yeah, um, boxes but this is uh, this is n not my listing, but it's one I based my purchase off from. 
um, I found um, eight of the bowls in this a variety. Mine actually had three different uh, designs. Um, and so I priced it similarly. I think they'll still go for the same. They're Villaroy um, and, uh, and Bosch. And, uh, and whenever I see that, I at least pick it up and research it. And uh, I think it was a good find. I, I do think I'll probably sell them between three and four hundred. These are the yeah. These are yeah, the actual plates that are there. Yeah. So. You want to one of them? Yeah. And I'm I got. Sorry, I, had a, I had a dog tragedy here. How much did you pay for these? Uh, four ninety nine and five ninety nine a piece. Yeah, we've got the so, price stickers yeah. still on them. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Are you showing? I clicked. I clicked over to you guys. Show them live and in person. Let's see them. Okay. They want to see them all. Okay. There you go. I'll help you. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to break them. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just move over a little bit. Okay. And then hold that one up. Uh, a, they go with your nails. <clears throat> B, <laughs> we had a, a question that says, can Ron explain the payment plan? That is something through eBay. So eBay lets you uh, yeah, buy yeah. higher ticket items and then pay when you can. Kind of like layaway -ish, kind of. So, so that's not something Ron's just doing. It's on mine. It'll be on yours, especially if you have a high ticket item. I don't you, think it shows up on ten dollars. But then eBay gets installments, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I did find two um, salad plates or dessert type plates um, in this pattern, the green pattern, and I've already sold those. So I listed. I've listed all this stuff already while I was here, and I sold those for thirty dollars the same night. So. At least those are gone. All right, Position. let's talk about this uh, so, future chair here. So this is the item I was talking about that I walked right by that I would have never thought of buying. I thought it must have, like, some crazy price tag on it. Um, how would you ship it? Like, I would have never thought of it. And Ron, like, he was like, oh, my gosh, look at this chair. Like, and he, that's going back to Massachusetts with him. So you can tell yeah. us about the chair. Um, well, uh, the chair at New sells over 100 um, and for over a hundred, and I thought, you know, surely, you know, it'll sell for something. It was four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Four ninety-nine. Um, and um, it really, I think, is new. It doesn't look like any of this stuff has really been opened. It had uh, everything with it, um, but it unscrews, and the ball just you just let the air out, so it'll be easy to pack. Um, just put yeah. it in a probably medium-sized um, Home Depot box, and even cut it down, um, and um, Okay, so, yeah. Ron, whose feet are these? What was that? Whose feet are these? Ah, oh, there's some feet there, yeah. Um, Wait, uh, yeah. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> 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 He was listening in his hotel room. He listened in his hotel yeah, room the same day that he bought it. So. Everything was reflecting. It. Yeah. yeah. I will take better pictures when I get <laughs> I see Ron's feet. In his hotel room. At least I wasn't naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know that now, do we? <laughs> uh, yes, we do. Ashley was in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so your feet were naked. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. we got that yeah. right here. Yeah. And I've got this one, too. These I really couldn't find much on on the uh, West End. Wow. Oh my gosh! I got them for a dollar forty nine a piece. You, you got um, that affiliate? That affiliate, yes. These are ones you didn't see. Okay, yeah. You no. didn't see much of this. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> what were you doing when um, I was helping Ashley I know, there? I got eight of them. I got eight of them, and uh, I could not find many um, at all from the West Elm. I did find one, a, a different, different set that they had listed for um, seventy five for four. And I think with the subject matter, and um, they look like great it's slates to me. Yeah, I love them, uh, and they're brand new. Um, they have they've never been used. They still have the tags on them. Yeah, we can't see. So. Yeah, well, there you go. Because um, it was in. Hang on, hang on. You got to show them live. I was showing the uh, pictures. Hang on a minute. There we go. Ta da! Nice. Hey, so uh, Ron, you can see that the sticker is still on the back of it there. I'm yeah, no, just showing it on the listing. Hey, Ron, somebody wants to know if you're using USPS to ship that ball chair. Uh, um, I'll probably it will probably end up going FedEx. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. Just because of size. Yep. But we'll see. Uh, USPS is my first choice. <coughs> now that's FedEx. one of those items, Ron. I would definitely recommend taking a picture of somebody sitting in that chair. Mm. 
It was a comfortable chair. I sat in it. It was really yeah. comfy, actually. Yeah, like, like take a fun picture of Nadine and say, the star of Thrifty Business is sitting <laughs> on this chair. See? It was, it was comfortable. <laughs> yeah. All right, so then we have uh, this duvet. Uh, yes, I found that at a church sale back at home in Massachusetts. Um, it was $5, brand new. Um, I sold it. I listed it one day. It sold the next. Brand new, they sell for 70 you and sold I sold it, it for the full day price. after you listed it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it was uh, brand new. It's, I think, 70 is what it was on it, and I sold it for 65 So right. um, that was a quick quick one. That, that says 19 bucks shipping. How big is this sucker? It's redundant. I don't think it was actually that much. I don't. Because that would be that would be 19 shipping to me. Uh, right, right, right. It didn't cost that much. It was, but it was in an, it was in an, it was not flexible. So I did have to use a larger box, and I think that's where the the price the actually went up was the yeah. dimensions. Yeah. Because yeah, I couldn't bend it, um, and um, but it went. It actually went just to. It went to Connecticut. So it only costs like five dollars or something. Like that. <laughs> That's here um, for Connecticut. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, cool. So that's all your links, but I know we got some. Uh, I know we got at least one fun thing there besides. Yeah, yeah. we got a couple fun things. We have well, plates are nice, but I know yeah. there's something fun going on there. The Ron is like an artwork <laughs> magnet. Um, he always finds the awesome artwork. I totally missed this too. A Goodwill. We were together. It's not perfect, but I think no, it's, but it's like kitschy it's, kind of. It's like one of those amateur, yeah, we do kind of. Yeah. Hand painted. It's, um, it's um the canvas is all um it's actually all hand stretched. So it's a, it's an amateur piece of art, but it's 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 pretty awesome. It's like one of those borderline kitschy amateur yeah. kind of like cool. Very ones. very folk folk art yeah. artish. So, yeah. so somebody in a country home in and Massachusetts. Five ninety nine for it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah, okay. So now we have our, our big okay, thing. Okay. We got a model. This yeah. Time. You're gonna do. Yeah. You're gonna do it. You wanna do it? Okay. Hold on. All right. So uh, before before we say and show what it is, I will say, Ron is a man like me. He does is not afraid to spend money if he knows there's bigger. He has money taught to be made. Some, he's taught me some lessons searching with him. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, Philip, if you're watching now, please turn off the screen. <laughs> he's talking to his husband. <laughs> <laughs> he's telling his husband to not watch. <laughs> like, how do I see this? <laughs> All right, so we're starting to see it come together here. Who's this? Oh my gosh. Yes, oh, this yeah. is a. Uh, <laughs> This is a uh, Lucha Libre wrestling no, outfit. No, it's a Philly Mummers. I live in... I know. Hey, stop ruining my joke, girlfriend. <laughs> well, I didn't get to finish it because all you interrupted me. <laughs> and then have her... Once you get the head on, have her back up a little bit so we can see the head. A little bit. And then... Uh, <laughs> and then yeah, and now sure. you have to put on the... Yeah. Put on the more. Oh, yeah. Oh, this... This is by far one of the most awesome thrifted things I've ever seen in my life. Great. It was forty nine ninety nine for the whole thing. It was um, behind the uh, counter. Um, and I mean, about this time of year, I mean, I'm looking for Halloween costumes and things like that to sell. And um, so that's why it caught my eye. But then I realized, yeah, this is a, the mummers, a mummers. Yeah, It's yeah. kind of neat. So someone will buy it. They put oh, a man. lot of thought and craft into yeah. their... And from the short, brief research I did, I think it should go anywhere from probably 149 to 250. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. So it's kind of cool, different. And and again, I don't. I'm not a big fan of using live uh, models, but I don't think a, a mannequin would do this justice. No, I don't right. think. Yeah, right. you right. Right. I would even put in a video of yeah. whoever wears it giving a little 360 degree twirl, just so you yeah. can. It, you know, and feel it, and, and fully understand it. So, yeah, that was his cool find of, of I think that was his, his most unique find of our, our trip. Yeah. Absolutely. Woo! Well done. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, while, uh, while they're getting her undressed, I'm going to pop back over here and, and talk a little, bit of, a little bit of business here. Uh, if you are not on our fan page, come on over. Here's what you're missing. You are missing fun pictures like this. I think we all should switch our mannequins to zombie mannequins because that's just way more fun. 
So come on over to our fan page, Thrifty Business with J and A. Please like us. I always post, or we always post pictures and um, stuff that we only post there. So come on over and hang out with us there. Uh, also, if you're watching, uh, well, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure that you click below, click the like button. Give, I mean, give us a big thumbs up, and then click subscribe. So you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. You'll know when we're doing more shows. Our this show is usually a structured Thursday night show. Uh, our haul videos kind of come when we can squeeze them in. I am pretty sure we're going to squeeze in a haul video this weekend, Saturday or Sunday night. Uh, we'll give you as much uh, heads up as we can. It'll probably be an hour heads up. Uh, My due to, is a little crazy, so sorry, yeah. guys. Due to one of us having three children that cannot be locked in cages, okay? Uh, and then one other thing I want to share is our good friend, Catherine, runs this group. Uh, uh, e eBay stores, nothing but stores, and she has asked Nadine and I to do uh, thrifty tips on Thursday. So Thursday thrifty tips. So, oh my gosh, who is calling? Who doesn't know I'm on the air? <laughs> Jerks. Uh, so head over to that group. It's a fun group. They talk about uh, a lot about helping you sell uh, in your eBay store, and we're there adding some fun shenanigans to it. Uh, mm -hmm. So there is our thrifty tips of the week. So keep your eye for that. We might throw in some fun shenanigans. And speaking of, thank you, my lovely assistant. We ran a contest, or not a contest. They got their 1800th member in that group. And a bunch of us gave stuff to raffle off. So Nadine and I gave <clears throat> a half hour on air eBay store tune up or listings tune up. We're going to help you make sure your listings are looking good and a tiki mug. So I will pick out an awesome tiki mug and send it to you. And we want to do it live on air. So let me shake it up a little bit. Here is everybody's name that entered. They don't all say the same one. So cut this all up, right? Yeah. Uh, so thank you, Sam. Let's have my lovely assistant who did all the work pick out our winner. I should have a drum roll ready. Melissa Gearhart Campbell, you are our winner. Oh, yay. Yay, Melissa. All right, so what we'll do in the near, near future, uh, and I'll message you tonight, we will get you set up so you'll be on the show. Uh, and we'll probably not do a normal show. We'll do a have May and Jay tune up your listings kind of show. So, And I'll, I'll get you out a fun tiki mug. So I will get with you, get your mailing address, and uh, get you taken care of. So congrats, and uh, we had fun doing that. Okay. All right, so with our last words, I'm sending it back over to Philadelphia. Yeah, we'd like to have uh, Miss Miss Ashley here. Would like to have some uh, some closing comments about uh, how she helps her dad with his business. So, so Ashley, would you like to say something? You may angle your screen down so you can see more of her, please. Okay, sure. There you go. When my dad started listing. Uh, sometimes I'm outside with him. A can't find every single thing of it. I actually help look for it. <laughs> and, and when he's a handle, mm -hmm. taking stuff down from a shelf, I actually help take it down. She's a good helper. She's a, And she found me some <laughs> cool Vince Camuto shoes when I was helping her. I was trying to help her find some shoes for herself. And she found me a pair of, of scored shoes. So Which she's, I have. So she's well. No, those aren't the. These are good score too, though. That we found. These are her, her fine. These, that's this, her these fine. are her fine. That's too. her fine. Yes. So I'll hold it up. You can hold it up. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. on Nike Air shoes. So that that's a good find. Oh, wow. Those are awesome. Yeah, so she's a good thrifter. She's uh good at finding some good stuff too. And they're the right color too, purple. Yay. <laughs> My favorite color. <laughs> favorite color? That's my favorite color. <laughs> I'm not so, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's why I use purple instead of blue like Nadine does. There's my purple right there. Boom, purple. So thank you, Ashley, for your closing comments. Yes, it's been a joy to thrift with her. She's actually a really good thrifter. Amazing. Great. So. And everybody's like, awesome, Ashley, good job. So the, the after her dad, for sure. All right, look at that. Boom, 7 o'clock on the dot. We're done. Perfect. That's it. One hour. So thank everyone for tuning in. Subscribe, like, find us on Facebook. Let's hang out. So for uh, Vegas J and...
Billy Nay. And our guests and our audience, thank you, everyone. Have a great week. Thrift hard. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Bye.